Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, August 16th, 2022. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. This is episode 575, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, The Legend of Shinli releases some new pictures. Love Between Fairy and Devil breaks 9,500 on Aichi's Popularity Index. Dylan Wang does his girl group dance. August has been a great month for Wang Yipo so far. And my thoughts on Love Like the Galaxy midway through the series. We usually begin with what's recently premiered, but nothing to report for today and yesterday. But I still do have a bunch of drama updates for you guys trailers, posters, and wraps and bootings, so let's get to them. We begin today with The Legend of Shenli, which recently released some new pictures of its stars and some of their sets. Here's Zhao Liying relaxing with a fan. Here's Kenny Lin playing peekaboo using a mask. And here's a nice one of them both, which was released on August 4th to commemorate Qi Xi, which is one of the many Chinese versions of Valentine's Day. In the drama, Cao Liying plays the titular Shen Li, and according to Drama Wiki, Shen Li is an experienced general who was born in the demon world. She is pressured into a political marriage and flees but injures herself and transforms into her original form, a phoenix. Kenny Lin plays Hang Zhi, the last remaining god amongst the ancients in the world. He chooses to distance himself from everyone, but fate intervenes when he meets Shen Li in the human world. The Legend of Shen Li is a Tencent drama and is slated for 40 episodes. The cast and crew started filming in June and are currently still going. The next update comes from Falling Into You. Falling Into You stars Gina Jin and Wang Anyu and is a love story set in the modern world of sports. It released its latest trailer and pictures on Weibo yesterday. The trailer is also available to view on YouTube. As Baidu explains it, the drama tells the story of an assistant coach played by Gina Jin, who discovers a young man played by Wang Anyu who's full of athletic potential, and they both realize their track and field dreams together. At the same time, the inevitable romance blossoms. Gina Jin's most recent drama to air was Why Women Love, which came out in February this year. Wang Anyu's was Ode to Joy Season 3, which aired just a few days ago. Falling Into You wrapped filming in April. The Yuku drama is slated for 26 episodes. And lastly, for new posters, Rising with the Wind recently released one. Rising with the Wind stars Simon Kong and Elaine Chung. Aichi released this on August 12th, the drama's latest poster. The lead cast looked a fashionable bunch here, and that's no coincidence as the drama is set in the fashion world. According to Baidu, Rising with the Wind follows a clothing company heiress played by Elaine Chung, who loses her father and faces the possibility of losing her father's company as well. She meets a crude investor played by Simon Gung, and he comes up with a plan to rescue her. More updates on Rising with the Wind as they provide them. Alright, this next segment deals with drama raps and bootings. I have one of each to update on. Firstly, Be Your Own Light has started to wrap the members of its lead cast, which consists of Liu Tao, Qing Hailu, and Liu Yuning. Yesterday, it was Liu Yuning who shared pictures of the occasion. According to Baidu, Liu Tao plays a woman who has hit rock bottom. Her husband ran away and left her huge debts, her career has suffered a setback, and her mother has fallen ill. With the help of an online blogger played by Liu Yuning, she manages to turn the tide. He not only helps her career, but provides emotional support as well. Be Your Own Light started filming almost two months ago. Liu Tao and the rest of the cast should be wrapping up pretty soon as well. And here's a drama booting which was reported yesterday at the world-famous Hengdian Studios, Sisters Together, a family drama starring Yang Xiaoyue, Ada Liu, and Fan Ming. According to Baidu, the drama follows a new university graduate played by Yang Xiaoyue. 
and her older sister, played by Ada Liu. The two sisters constantly bicker as the older insists on sticking her nose into the younger's business. Meanwhile, their father, played by Fan Ming, who has lived his entire life for his two daughters, starts lamenting that the older they get, the less they need him. Sisters Together is an adaptation of a sitcom which was part of a variety show competition. Although the sitcom did not win, it was popular enough that they decided to do this drama adaptation. Moving on for a drama update, Love Between Fairy and Devil's producer responds to a netizen, saying that the drama wasn't looked upon favorably before it premiered. Love Between Fairy and Devil stars Esther Yu and Dylan Wang and is currently streaming on IQ.com. According to the Senna article, some anti-fans recently trolled the fantasy costume drama for not having any commercials in it. This was brought to the drama's producer, Wang Yixu, who gave a clever response. It's these trolls who made us, really, he quipped. Commercials will invest in spots before a drama airs and will base it on the actor's popularity. We did not get very many investments, which proves we weren't looked upon favorably before we aired. But now, love between Fairy and Devil is constantly breaking VIP members' data records, and this is all because of the fan support. Thank you. Indeed, Love Between Fairy and Devil is doing quite well at the moment. Last episode, I did a segment about how it recently passed 9,000 points on IGE's popularity index. Some of you brought to my attention that even more recently, it passed 9,500. And this is the poster the drama released to mark the occasion. According to an earlier Weibo post by the drama, if they passed 9,500 points, Dylan Wang would do a girl group dance. Well, Dylan has made good on his promise. Earlier today, he shared a video of him busting some girl group dance moves. Before that, when the drama passed 9,000 popularity points, Zhang Linghe made good on his promise and jumped into a swimming pool. Moving on now, while Love Between Fairy and Devil's producer responded to what he referred to as trolling, Being a Hero's Investor responded to a rather presumptuous question, and it was a response that I quite enjoyed. Being a Hero stars Chen Xiao and Wang Yipo. The crime drama aired on August 11th. One of its investors, who goes by the Weibo handle Ice Cold Big Player, recently shared a screenshot of a rather amusing conversation he had with a netizen. This netizen requested that Ice Cold Big Player talked to Yuku about making some changes to being a hero. Said netizen complained about how slow the episodes were coming out, and how that was a real killjoy. They also lamented that there were no promos for the drama, and claimed that it was being neglected by Yuku. Well, Ice Cold Big Player responded by saying, among other things, How about you give me a few hundred million? I will buy shares into Yuku and I will modify the company's operating procedures for you. He later shared another post in seriousness. All I want is for the broadcast to be smooth and for the actors to not implode because of some scandal. No tax evasion, no drugs, no negative news that will lead to a broadcast ban. That is all I ask for. Indeed, in today's Chinese entertainment climate, it's one of an investor's worst nightmares for one of their project stars to be embroiled in some controversy that leads to a broadcast ban. And since we've mentioned Wang Yipo, let's segue to the celebrity segment. I have three updates for him. The first of which has to do with one of his upcoming movies, Born to Fly. On August 12th, the movie officially shared details of their cast on Weibo and revealed that they will air in 2022. They also shared a short 15-second teaser trailer which features their main man, Wang Yibo. Here he is under some less-than-ideal conditions. In Born to Fly, Wang Yibo plays a pilot who has undergone rigorous training and has been selected to be part of the country's new generation of test pilots. I wonder if they will have cool call signs as well. Iceman would be appropriate here, but that's kind of taken. Anyway, the team is led by their captain, played by Hu Jun. Zhou Dongyu puts in a guest appearance. The second Wang Yipo update has to do with another of his upcoming movies, One and Only. 
In an August 14th Sena Entertainment article, one and only's director Da Peng is quoted as saying the movie was tailor-made for Wang Yipo. Quote, first there was Yipo, then there was one and only, end quote. According to Baidu, in One and Only, Huang Po plays a veteran hip-hop dancer who tricks a young busker played by Wang Yipo into joining his dance troupe. And the last Wang Yipo update I want to share is just that the variety show Street Dance of China Season 5 recently aired. On August 13th, Sena Entertainment published some of Wang Yipo's images from the show. He is one of the main hosts. So his drama, Being a Hero, is streaming, his variety show, Street Dance of China, is streaming, and he has two upcoming movies being talked about in entertainment news, one of which just announced that it will premiere sometime this year. August is turning out to be a great month for Wang Yipo so far. And on that note, it's Tuesday today, so time for another segment of Where's Mark is At? The title of the segment doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm currently following just the one drama. I'm on episode 30 of Love Like the Galaxy starring Leo Wu and Zhao Rusi. The drama is available on YouTube and WeTV with English subs. It is slated for 56 episodes, that's a total of the two parts, and having followed it to this midpoint, I just want to quickly offer some thoughts on it. If you guys follow my show on the regular, you'd probably know that I am enjoying this drama. I'm particularly impressed with Zhao Lusi, who I think nails her character's naivete and cheekiness. Zhao Lusi's got great timing, and her expressions crack me up. Speaking of which, I wasn't expecting this drama to have this much comedy. Turned out to be a pleasant surprise, as much of it really worked. The two funniest scenes for me so far are when Zhao Lusi's character meets the king for the first time, and when she gets sloshed and straddles Liu Wu's character like a horse. Indeed, the two leads have some wonderful scenes together, funny, romantic, and touching ones too. Zhao Lusi's character has some funny scenes with her father as well as her tiger mom. That mother-daughter relationship is an interesting one. I also want to commend the cinematography. I was impressed with, among other things, some of the wanners, those long one-take shots that take a bit of time and coordination to get right. Some of the scenes have dialogue that go on for a bit too long, that's I guess one of the few things I don't like about it, but they're obviously not deal breakers as I'm still following the drama. And that's been another segment of Where Smart Is At. It also brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!